historically, there's been uh, some, you know, significant differences between men and women, particularly in the procedural outcomes. So what we've seen is after rotational atherectomy, orbital atherectomy, uh, women have much higher rates of dissection, perforations, and other procedural complications compared to male patients. When we think about why women have worse outcomes with calcified lesions compared to men, I think there's a few aspects to this. I think that women tend to present more typically with atypical symptoms or less classical symptoms of ischemia. In addition to that, we know that women have smaller vessels that are more tortuous. When we look at the published studies, there's a lower use of intravascular imaging. And I think all this taken together results in a higher complication um, rate during the procedures, particularly complications such as perforations and extensive dissection. Previously, we've shown in a patient level pooled analysis of the DISRUPT CAD trials that uh, there's very promising results with uh, lithotripsy in this patient population. We, we showed that there was absolutely no complications, um, no dissections, no perforations in our female patients. The outcomes were very similar between men and women. Uh, but of course, this was a retrospective analysis. Uh, only about 25% of the population was female, and we also had limited follow-up up to one year. So, Empower CAD is really designed to validate and confirm the results um, that we've seen in this retrospective analysis. It's a very exciting new program. It is the first ever, and I'm going to repeat that, first ever uh, prospective coronary revascularization study um, uh, in women only. So, you know, this is, this is a big first. So this is a prospective multi-center registry. It's going to be conducted across the USA and Europe, recruiting up to 400 female patients across up to 50 sites and with um, at least a three year follow up. So Empower CD will be different from other studies because it's going to be an all female patient study. It's going to be conducted by two female PIs, myself and Alexandra Lansky from Yale. We're going to have a high prevalence of female site investigators. And in doing so, we're hoping to provide experience for female interventional cardiologists who wish to develop their skills and experience in clinical trials. And up to date, as yet, haven't had the opportunity to do so. This is a field where women interventionalists represent a minority. Uh, in the United States, 4.5% uh, of the interventional community is, is female. And we all face very tough realities uh, being a minority stakeholder in this field and everything that it implies. And all too often, I would say that um, women in the field are bypassed in the leadership roles uh, because simply we're outnumbered. So what we plan to do beyond, again, focusing on the female patients is to engage our female co uh, colleagues in absolutely all aspects of the study and give them an opportunity um, to do what they do best, and that is to lead and to hopefully shine in, in, in delivering this trial. And ultimately, you know, Empower CAD is all about uh, taking better care of our female patients, but also to empower our female colleagues. It's really a, an incredible opportunity for all of us and our female patients.